Talk about Another that. thing the enemy does <laughs> is when he makes us chase our selfish ambitions mm. without surrendering them to God. Mm-hmm. His ambitions, God's ambitions. Mm-hmm. Let me make it more clear. The enemy will twist our selfish ambitions yeah. to choke out God's ambitions in the world. Mm. Mm. How can I say that yeah. in better English? <laughs> I'll say it God's like this. God's got a plan for Christ for all nations. God's got a plan to take care of children, save his babies, to finish the Great Commission. People get saved. Lives be transformed by the gospel of the Lord mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Someone's called to go preach this gospel. Mm-hmm. The counterfeit plan mm. is be noticed, be celebrated. Yeah. And so when we pursue that, mm. the people we were meant to go to, they may never hear the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How many people has forsaken the missionary mm. call for the sake of yeah. money, for security, for the sake of being noticed? Pleasing yeah. man. To fear of, um, we've met a number of people as well. Call, feel the call to missions, but their parents were terrified they're gonna die. Yeah, terrified something's gonna happen to them, and in the long run. I mean, it could have been right. They ob- obeyed that fear, though. Yeah, yeah, Over you're listening right. to the voice of God. Now, I'm not saying don't listen to counsel or wisdom. I'm not saying any of that. Um, both of us have gotten where we got, and you and I both by having people that are wiser than us and counseled us that's right um and we would even take advice from people and this is all throughout proverbs you know wisdom will guard you it'll protect you like you need to seek out wisdom uh, also to find the will of god for your life but who you seek it out from is pretty yes darn (laughs) important absolutely (laughs) i just have to interject that because um (laughs) You, if you can't accept wisdom from anybody, uh-huh. you're an arrogant something something that needs to sit down. <laughs> Let's just be I'm about real. to let the deep South Mississippi boy out. Yeah, of there, I'm not man. going there. I'm yeah. safe. <laughs> um, but if you can't listen to anybody mm. and you have all the answers, you're a fool. Mm. You have no answers, yeah. right? But if you listen to everyone, you're going to be running around like a chicken with his mm. head cut off, right? Yeah. There are people God supplies who are not ambitious in your life. They love so you yeah, yeah. and yeah. they want to help you. Mm-hmm. They're not getting anything from it. Yeah. These people God provides. And when you bring up to those type of people, I feel like God's called me to do this. Mm-hmm. They may look at you and say, that's not even in the Bible. You're being crazy. <laughs> and you need to listen to them. <laughs> or most times, because at this point you're growing in the Lord. Mm-hmm. They'll mm-hmm. say, that's right. Mm-hmm. How can I help you? Yeah. Get, let me give you a few warning things, mm-hmm. a few ways the enemy is going to try to destroy you. Right. We need those people in our life. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I'm tired of the Great Commission becoming an afterthought. They did a study where people don't even know what mm-hmm. the Great Commission is anymore, but everybody knows what it is to be invited to the next Name Your Conference. We are so jacked up in that area. Priorities. And the world, we will answer for that, man. Yeah. And we need some wisdom from the Lord. Yeah. And that wisdom is he being equal with God did not see it as something to be grasped. Mm-hmm. But he humbled himself mm-hmm. to death, even death on a cross cross. he goes not my will but your will be done jesus Mm -hmm. if god said heal that person he healed it if god said don't do it we know that from the the temple the guy at the gate beautiful jesus probably walked by yeah god never said to heal him so guess what jesus didn't do he didn't heal him because there Mm. there's like peter peter and john who's gonna do it later Mm. it was just yes up down left right his brothers were like, you want to get noticed. You need to go do it out in publicly. And just because he said that, he didn't go when he told him to because mm. he would not pursue that. He wasn't pursuing what man said. He pursued he what God, God said. And, yeah, that's that's so huge because it's not my will. It's God's will. Like, how many of us do you hear saying that? You know, Jesus said over and over again. Everything he did, he did because the Father did it. Like, he saw him doing it. He heard him saying it. He would say. 
So it's like he, he literally was an example of walking with God and in the spirit all at the same time. So that's a huge part of this, too, is being led, mm -hmm. being led by it, those father's voice. He says, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. We all ha we both have friends who were called of the Lord to do something everybody wants to do. Mm, yeah, the fun stuff, right? You know, <laughs> I have friends who are called to be noticed, mm. to have millions and millions of followers. They were called of the Lord and put in that position. Yeah. Right? I don't know if they even care that much. Mm -hmm. They're faithful. Yeah. But my friends who are like that, they do it for the gospel. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. some friends who started massive churches and everybody's trying to be the next known pastor and their heart beats to fund the gospel mm -hmm. to go to Asia. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's so beautiful. We